uh, and, and Mark, you're very kind in your comments, but I, I think the, the key thing here is that we should all be grateful to, uh, to Don Payne and to John Bozeman, Chairman and, uh, and uh, Vice Chairman, Ranking Republican, really with his caucus. And, and I have tremendous uh, admiration for, first off, the hard work that they do. You know, we joke about it a lot, but I, I guarantee for you that uh, Don Payne and John Bozeman aren't scoring huge political points back home because they're taking up the cause of health in Africa. They're doing it because they believe in it and it's the right thing to do. And so uh, they need to be saluted for really what they're doing. And it's, it's something that's, uh, that, that's great. Um, also, I think what Mark's pointing to and what the speakers really pointed to is that the investments that we make in neglected tropical diseases and the investments we make in uh, malaria control strengthen the system in a huge way, in a very important way. The facilities, the training, the commodities that arise out of these important programs benefit the entire system. Uh, it was interesting, Mark, a couple of days ago, I was in a session where someone was talking about PEPFAR, which you know very, very well, and, and the amount of investments that we've made in PEPFAR and I think sometimes people don't realize that before a few years ago, pre-PEPFAR, you know, we weren't really serious players in global health. But the, uh, quite frankly, the explosion in American investments in fighting global health that emerged through PEPFAR and under your leadership and with PMI is remarkable and has really changed the course of, of human history on the continent and something that, that uh, Americans should be very, very proud of. But I guess what I was most pleased to see, and I think really today is, is a reinforcement of that, um, uh, PEPFAR worked hard to make sure that when those antiretroviral medications were being taken out to the remote posts, that uh, it wasn't the only thing that went out. It was bed nets that went out. It was the testing kits that went out. It was making sure that we took care of the whole person. Um, doctor, you pointed out the multiple infections but also, when people come forward um, uh, afflicted and suffering, uh, they don't just come to the malaria facility because, of course, you know, they're simply seeking to get well. They may not even know what they've got. They may not understand they're coming to be treated and to be lifted, and unless we're working together, we really can't minister to them and take care of their needs. The other point I wanted to make, because um, I don't think it gets said often enough here, uh, the humanitarian value of these investments, I hope, is obvious. It's the right thing to do morally from a compassionate perspective. Um, but I would argue that this is in our interest diplomatically and strategically. Um, these investments, uh, whether they be through government programs or through NGOs, uh, are really reshaping world opinion about Americans and America and what we stand for. And it's a remarkable thing to see. When I was an uh, ambassador, I used to tell my team all the time when they asked me, you know, what was my diplomatic philosophy? I said, look, it's real simple. Do good things, let people know you're doing them, everything else will fall into place. And so we used to emphasize the investments that were done for global health because that's what mattered to the Tanzanian people. They were suffering, and we wanted them to know that we were there. No strings attached, no conditions, shoulder to shoulder, working with them. So um, my argument, or what I'd um, like to be remembered is that this is not only important for those that we serve in Africa, it's actually good for us. I mean, it is good for us diplomatically, it is good for us strategically, it is the way that uh, you know, that we need to be engaged in the world. I think it's having a very positive effect. Um, 